Okay, so get this. We're going to deep dive into something truly revolutionary uh, today. Genesis. It's a physics engine, and it's not just pushing the boundaries. It's shattering them. Now, for anyone out there um, who might not be familiar with this, a physics engine is basically like the brains behind the brawn. You know, in any virtual world, it dictates how everything moves, how things collide, and how they react to forces like gravity. It's the secret sauce that makes games immersive and robots move realistically and simulations feel, you know, real. But Genesis isn't just like, you know, iterating on what we've got. It's like totally rewriting the rules of the game. Now, what's so fascinating about this is that Genesis can run these simulations up to like 80 times faster than current state-of-the-art physics engines. And we're not talking about like just minor improvements here. And this is a total game changer. Imagine simulations that used to take days to run, and now they're being completed in minutes. And the implications are huge, from training robots in the blink of an eye to testing these complex scientific theories in a fraction of the time. But wait, there's more. It gets even wilder. Genesis can actually generate dynamic 4D worlds. Now, I know you're thinking when we say 4D, we're not talking about some like extra spatial dimension or anything like that. It's more about adding the dimension of time, like simulating how a 3D environment actually evolves and changes over time. So think about this. Think about simulating the wear and tear on a bridge over like decades or the growth of a forest or even like the spread of a disease through a population. It's not sci-fi. This is the power of Genesis. And what's really remarkable is the level of detail that Genesis can achieve. I mean, it can simulate everything from like the way fabric drapes and folds to the like intricate movements of a robotic arm solving a puzzle. And it does all of this while being incredibly efficient. They've implemented some seriously clever techniques like auto hibernation, where the engine intelligently focuses its resources on the parts of the simulation that are actively changing. This level of speed and complexity is unheard of, and it's already causing a revolution in fields like robotics, AI development, and scientific research. But how do they achieve this? Well, one of the key factors is that Genesis takes advantage of the power of parallel processing on GPUs, allowing it to break down these simulations into smaller pieces that can be processed all at the same time. This is a big change from traditional physics engines, which were limited by sequential processing. But just raw computing power, that's just part of the story. The team behind Genesis has also made some groundbreaking advancements in the algorithms and data structures that are used to represent and simulate physical phenomena. They've essentially created a more efficient and like elegant way to model the world within a computer. And what's super exciting is that Genesis is open source, so anyone with the right skills can contribute to its development. Imagine this, a global community of researchers, developers, enthusiasts, all coming together to push the boundaries of what's possible with physics simulation. It's a truly democratizing force in technology. But this power also comes with some serious questions. How do we make sure that Genesis is used responsibly? What are the ethical implications of being able to simulate these complex systems with such accuracy? And what does it mean for humanity when we can create virtual worlds that are basically indistinguishable from reality? These are just a few of the questions that we'll be digging into as we explore the world of Genesis further. So if you're ready to have your mind bent and your imagination ignited, Stick with us because this is just the beginning. All right, so we've talked about how Genesis is this game-changing physics engine that's blurring the lines between what's virtual and what's real. But let's get down to brass tacks here. How are people actually using this technology today? One area where Genesis is making a huge splash is robotics. Think about how robots are usually trained. It's this really slow and tedious process. You know, lots of programming, lots of real-world testing. But with Genesis, you can build these hyper-realistic virtual environments where robots can learn and adapt super fast. Like picture a robotic arm learning how to manipulate objects. But instead of going through all that trial and error in the real world, it's doing it through millions of simulations inside Genesis. And because these simulations run so fast, a robot can gain years of experience in just a few hours. And they're not just learning pre-programmed movements. They're actually coming up with their own strategies adapting to new situations, and essentially learning how to think for themselves. The crazy part is that the skills they learn in these virtual worlds, they actually transfer over to the real world seamlessly. Robots trained in Genesis can perform these really complex tasks with a level of precision and adaptability that we've never seen before. It's like they've downloaded years of experience straight into their robot brains. But Genesis isn't just about training robots. It's about understanding and predicting how complex systems behave. Like think about a busy city, a delicate ecosystem, or even the spread of a disease. By simulating these systems with incredible detail, and speed researchers can unlock insights that were just impossible to get before. For example, imagine using Genesis to simulate the effects of climate change on a coastal city. 
You could model things like rising sea levels, changing weather patterns, and the impact on infrastructure and people. This kind of predictive power could be invaluable for urban planners, policymakers, and scientists trying to fight climate change. But the potential uses for Genesis go way beyond robotics and environmental modeling. Let's talk about gaming. Imagine video games where the environments aren't just static backdrops, but dynamic, ever-changing worlds that react to your every move. We're talking about games where you can feel the weight and texture of objects, where the physics are so real it feels like you're actually in a virtual world. And it's not just about visuals, either. Genesis can simulate sound, light, even touch, creating truly immersive experiences that engage all your senses. This is the future of gaming, where the line between real and virtual gets blurry. And then there's the potential impact on fields like medicine and material science. Imagine using Genesis to simulate how a new drug interacts with the human body, or you design brand new materials with specific properties at the molecular level. The possibilities are mind-blowing. Okay, so we've seen what Genesis can do. It's incredible the impact it's having on robotics, gaming, and research. But let's take a step back for a second and think about the bigger picture. What does all of this mean for the future? On the one hand, it's super exciting. We're basically entering this new era where the line between the physical world and the digital world is getting blurrier and blurrier. We can simulate reality so accurately and so quickly that it opens up all these crazy possibilities for innovation and discovery and creativity. Imagine architects designing buildings that could adapt to the weather, engineers testing new materials in virtual crash tests before they even build anything, doctors practicing surgery on virtual patients. These are just a few examples of the future that Genesis is helping to create, but this future comes with some big questions too. As we get better and better at simulating reality, we need to think about the ethics of it all. How do we make sure that these powerful tools are used for good? How do we prevent them from being misused in ways that could harm people? These are questions that we all need to think about as we move into this new era of technology. The creation of Genesis is a huge achievement. It shows what human ingenuity can accomplish. It shows how much we want to understand the world around us. But it's also a reminder that with great power comes great responsibility.